Good morning, I'm John Burke. And I'm Alex Hufford. And we are Burke & Company, and this is the Monday Market Minute. Monday Market Minute is a segment we do to explain relevant ideas affecting a local real estate market. And this week, Avalon Stone Harbor. Yes, sir. So let's start the clock. Now, this market has, in the last couple of decades, put two zip codes into the top 50 in the U.S. for median home sale prices. In the last year, the average home sale price on the island was $1.5 million. It's a very lofty home market when you show up with a $1 million budget and you're still in the shallow end of the pool. For sure. Now, the first number I want to consider this week is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And where did that close on Friday, Alex? 20,821. That was a record high. Now let's consider the percentage of homes on this island that sell, for everybody's favorite form of money, cash. Do you know what that figure is? 26% last year. And how does that compare to other markets, like say Ocean City? 16% last year. And Sea Isle City? 15%. All right, so counterintuitively, it's actually the more expensive markets and more expensive homes that see the highest percentage of cash money activity. You can even see this in the average cash sale price versus overall average prices. Take Seattle, Alex. What was the average home sale price last year in Seattle? 723,000. But well, what was the average price for cash transactions? 821,000. You see that? We might have something worth watching here. Real estate bubbles are often caused by easy lending. Think of the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis. But in these more premier markets, cash can be king. So big stock rallies often lead people to divest profits into other interests, and real estate can be the most popular. It's just something to watch. So will the number of cash transactions in Avalon and Stone Harbor rise this year? And if so, will prices rise along with them? Now, Alex, if you had some cash to burn on Seven Mile Island, where would you put it? It's time for the hot pick of the week. My hot pick of the week is based on personal taste rather than numbers. Uh, 4042 Fourth Avenue in Avalon offers something very few beach properties do, and that's privacy. Uh, with big cathedral ceilings, pool, hot tub, awesome layout, and when you stand on your top deck, you look left, you look right, you see a lot more green than you do houses. Privacy is not hard to find, and still being a minute away from the beach. Interesting pick. Now, I need to keep it close to home because I live in Stone Harbor right now. As you know, I just recently got engaged, so you know, I am out looking for, for houses myself. Um, I grew up spending my summers in Stone Harbor and I was a surfer, so I've always loved to be close to, you know, 110th Street, Nuns Beach, big surfing beach. And there is actually a great listing there right now, 129 109th Street. It's Lane Steinem Architecture. It was a very popular architect on the island. A lot of the houses I like are done by them. Um, at 3.3 million, it might be just a little bit outside of our range right now, but I'll keep showing up early on Monday mornings and maybe we'll get there. Hey, Alex. Can I take this opportunity, since I mentioned it, to give a shout out to my lovely fiance who holds the camera for us each week on the Market Minute? Of course you can, John, because you just did it. I guess I did. Well, I'm John Burke. And I'm Alex Hufford. And we're Burke, Burke & Company.